everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alessandro, aka the 3D Print Geek. If this is your first time here and you're into 3D printing, photography, drones, and tech in general, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. I'm gonna show you a printer today. I mean, probably you're here because you read the title, but I'm gonna show you a 3D printer that's like almost 100 euros, 120, 130, depends on where you purchase it from, which is like really, really small. Somebody called it a toy, but I can tell you I printed out TPU, I printed out PETG, I printed out PLA, silk PLA, and I basically never had a fail. I'm talking about the WeDo Tina 2 with Wi-Fi. That's an amazing printer, but let's roll the intro first and let's talk about it. So we do Tina 2. What can we say? 10 by 10 by 10. And unboxing was just an unboxing. There's nothing to put together. Just a PTF tube to connect. And uh, the only like thing I printed out is a stand for a larger set of spool. And I started printing. It was very easy to configure it on Cura. It took me like 10 minutes because it comes, um, the SD card that comes with the 3D printer already had um, uh, software on it, Cura uh, 4 point something, so an old version of Cura, but with the 3D printer already installed. So it was like very easy to configure it, set the profile and start printing. I actually didn't know that the bed heated up. So all the first prints, I did them with, with the raft. I mean, they came out perfectly. I mean, raft is always a, a game changer and it can save your life, especially when you're talking about adhesion, but it really printed like nicely. And what I loved about this is that there's, there's no bad leveling. I mean, you could give this printer to my kids, which have a little bit of knowledge of 3D printing. They know exactly what to touch and what not and they could be able to send the print, clean it off, get it off the plate, clean it and print another, another one. So it's very, very hard to screw things up with this printer. I mean, it's like really, really easy and ready to go. So totally a beginner 3D printer. So bed leveling, yeah, exactly. You heard it correct. There's no bed leveling. And by the way, what's lovely about this printer is that you have a magnetic plate that comes off and it's elastic so the print I mean sticks to the bed until it's hot and if you have a raft and then it comes off you wash it put it back and it's ready for another print it's very very hard to uh, get a, a bad print with this printer because every time a print starts it does bad leveling so you don't have to do it the printer does it itself and I should say I was waiting for a, like a slower printer, but it actually prints a, at a decent speed. I mean, probably not the files that were preloaded on um, on uh, on the SD card, but the one I sliced with Cura, like tweaking up some settings. Also, when I printed out TPU, because guys, I printed out TPU, and it came out. It came out really good. I mean, this is just a cube, printed out another couple of balls, but my kids brought them away. So TPU is a thing. I mean, slowing it down, you can print TPU. PETG, without any problem. Just tweaking up some setting, PETG, this Azure Tiger Orange, 
PTG printed out really amazingly. Talking about Azure, by the way, you can purchase Azure Filament. All links will be down in the description. If you use the code the 3D Print Geek, you will have 10% discount on checkout. This is a brand I use the most, is a brand I trust the most and uh, fails with this filament are like really, really few. I mean, I can't remember. I mean, probably the only one I had, <laughs> they were because of me, my mistakes, but really reliable brand if you wanna, they're not sponsored. Eh? I mean, they're not paying me to say this. This is just my honest opinion. I'm testing so many filaments. People are sending me, uh, brands are sending me filaments. I'm testing them and what I find is that I always go back to Azure, I buy it, I purchase a lot during the month. So really reliable brand, just to let you know. The Tina 2 comes with this filament from WeDo, like I think it's original filament from their brand. Not bad, pretty a lot, it was 250 grams. And I started printing something from the SD card. And of course, they're sliced by them, so they look really good. I mean, this is a fish bone. I still haven't taken off the raft from it. But yeah, as you can see, there you go. Pretty nice and decent print. I mean, we're talking about a very, very cheap and small 3D printer. I saw many videos on YouTube and they call it a toy. But I must say, this is no toy. This is a like working 3D printer. I mean, it works. It gets stuff delivered. I mean, it's uh, like, look at how smooth this bunny is. Hold on. This bunny came out really smooth. And it was printed in 2.0, not even in full rest, because you can go down to 0 0.13, I think, playing out with CUDA. So, secret is like tweaking it a little bit with CUDA setting, if you're able of doing it. You can play around with settings, and uh, it's, it's a printer that's really responsive, so like results were immediate. <coughs> of course, I printed in vase mode, pushing it, as my usual with a 0.4 nozzle but pushing it at 0.8 vase mode and this came out brilliant the only constraint you have with this printer is on size because of course you cannot go taller than a certain amount then of course i always print an astronaut filament from matter in this beautiful silk lila from azure filament and it came out beautiful. I don't know if you can see a little bit of the infill. I pushed it hard on the infill so that it could give this texture. And I love the way it turned out. I mean, this was printed out with the Tina 2, which the people call a toy, but this is a more than decent print. I mean, I love the way this came out. Then I was telling you, I wanted to test different materials and I tested TPU as I showed you before and result as you can see is really nice PETG of course PLA this is a neon PLA I don't know if you can see it it's a neon PLA which is really really nice and then I loaded up this gorgeous, what's it called, PLA Neon Pink and I printed out a Benchy. I didn't do any tweaking at all on this. As you can see, there's a little bit of stringing, but look at this. This is amazing. I mean, the way it turned out, let me take off a raft. The way it turned out, the way it turned out is really nice. I mean, you can see the steering wheel inside perfectly up here, perfect here. I mean, a little bit 
bridging like a little bit of stringing i mean but i'm on come on i mean i'm sure that with a little bit of tweaking that could come off as well so what can i say more about this printer i mean for the price being and uh, being an entry level 3d printing printer what it delivers is more than what you're paying for i mean you're getting a proper 3d printer i remember the first time i bought like the first printer i had was a genius from artillery it was an amazing printer and i was scared of printing tpu and PETG for a long time on this printer of course i knew exactly what setting to put in because i have a little bit of experience but i loaded tpu i printed tpu i loaded petg i printed petg i mean uh, what else can you <laughs> pretend from 100 euros 150 euros 3d printer so my suggestion is really suggested for a beginner really suggested for kids who are entering that age where they can be self-sufficient i'm talking about 12 13 my kids are seven but my kids is like different i mean they've been seeing printers since they're two years old they know exactly where to put the hand so they already using this more than what i am most of the video the videos that you saw of 3d prints coming out they were taking care of it also gopro <coughs> i'm gonna start using them I'm gonna start using them as my little slaves. I mean, they love what I do and I love that they love this. Links to purchase this 3D printer will be down in the description. Don't forget to smash the like button if you did like the video. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and I'll see you guys on the next video.